David Buck, and welcome to Café Bellini. This is the first piece of Raoul's that you see when you walk into the door. It's big in scale, very, very blue. There's a mermaid down here with fabulous breasts, which appears a lot in Raoul's work. He's got on a fool's cap, like all the other accoutrements of Mercury. This one is uh, very popular with the women who come in here. It's very bright, very yellow. It reminds me of Angela Davis, Black Panther leader in the 1960s in the States. Very mournful look. Though a lot of Raoul's work features seascapes. This is the most nautical one that he's done. See the shells, almost like nautiluses here. The fish on the of Raoul's work as well. But again, there's a beautiful depth in the sky. Lovely moon there. Lovely, lovely picture. I love the scale of this one. There's homage to many, many different artists in this. I love the sunflowers of Van Gogh. I love, uh, there's a touch of persistence of memory. Dali's picture here with the shell, the watermelon. Beautiful big picture. Very, very vibrant. This is the most Italian picture of Raoul's that we have here. It's, it's in the same style as Mogliani. Like there's the grapes there and, uh, and the vineyards. Beautiful big sun. And just little, little birds there. Just the tiny little touches just to break up that surface. Fabulous, fabulous picture. And wherever you go in this room, her eyes are always watching you. This one is more Pembrokeshire than any other painting that Raoul has got in, in this restaurant. Uh, reminds me of looking out towards Caldy Island, which will be over here. Uh, there's another artist, John Nat Fisher, who's done a very similar picture to that of, of the woman there, but I suspect uh, that's Heather, I suspect. This is the most gothic and moody picture of, of Raoul's here in the gallery. Uh, I find this one quite disturbing, actually, because it looks like there's a storm coming up this way. 
and very soon that moon's going to be obscured. There are two pictures up here I like of Rails. This one particularly. I've got a, a similar one of Rails to this. Uh, I like the fact that it's organic. It's not quite finished. The lizard's not quite finished. There's no spots on the, on the ladybird. But I like the depth and I love the colours. I love the fact that it's, it's a trick of the eye. You should be looking out. But all of this is the exterior of the building. And you're looking out through it. Fabulous, fabulous. The shells feature a lot in Raoul's work as well. Um, there's one or two over there that, um, that have got the shells. It's just a nice continuation. This one I like particularly well. Uh, I knew where it was before I even knew where Raoul had painted it. But that's mid towards Mill Mill in Solvent. You can see the valleys, there's a couple of houses there. But it's got an angry femininity about it. It's, uh, it's almost genital. I love, I love the <laughs> anger. I love the texture in, in the side there. Fabulous piece of work. What I love about this painting is the fact that it looks so simple when you first glance at it. Just these charcoal lines. And it looks very casual in the way the paint seems to have been flicked on the canvas. But when you look closer, you see all the work, all the love that's gone into it. All the detail around the eyes, and the lips, and the gold on the crown. And it could be a female. This is a very feminine face. Okay. This is a reflection on the end of the day. There's a sunrise, sunset in the background. End of the day, pensive face. An old sun, lots of heat, warmth coming out of it. And she's turning her head, almost warming herself against the sun. She may be standing with a mirror in front of her and the reflection of the sun bouncing off the mirror onto her face and all these splashes of fire here. This is Raoul's unique vision of Pembrokeshire with all the colours, the sky, the sand, the green hills all coming into a waterfall of colour an abstract shape Fine. with all the colours, the sky, the sand, the green hills all coming into a waterfall of colour an abstract shape fire, earth, all the elements coming, a bit of sky and a little bit of the world in the corner. This is an intimate piece of never-ending art which Raoul is constantly working on. Foreground figures are almost finished, but the background is constantly changing every time I see this painting. We're almost invited to look at the intimate moment of the Annunciation. With, with, with the, the kneeling angel almost deferring to the Virgin. There are two frames, the gold, the wood, and even the pillars on either side act to frame the image. It can be a static image, but the background is quite busy. The beautiful castle, the walkway with the trees by the river, the bridge. And it's just so beautiful and the colours 
it's really it's mysterious it's everything you would want in a picture really it's a pretty pity because I want it back <laughs> <laughs> you can't have it <laughs> I just love the way you've got the different scale of things you've got so tiny little elephants on uh, water lily leaves and huge heads with all those shapes which of course are symbolic I don't know what the, the, you know more about what you put into it but but here because it's so oversized it has such an impact and I think um, because there's not an awful lot of light coming in because we're sort of sunk behind the bank um, that it just brings the sunshine, it keeps the sunshine in the house all the time and warms this room completely. Normally, we close the gallery one day a week and my wife, Heather Bennett, and I, we go on for a walk, we go on for a walk around Pembrokeshire. Our favourite place, they are mainly in, around the Peseli Mountains. Um, my wife take pictures. Um, I take a picture of my wife taking pictures. And I just go in to look. I don't do painting or watercolor or sketches. I just go in to look. The colors, the lights. The texture of when you see the, the building, handmade building with a rough contrast with the material stone and local. I think sometimes it's some kind of spiritual, mythical, romantic experience. Um, Around the time of the bluebell, when they're coming out, people go around to have a look. I just like to refresh my eye looking, without speaking or making any comment or anything like that. Sometimes I like There is a place where a friend of a 
します。